Hi guys, Jan here with a new 3D Cryptic video. Today we will talk about symmetry in Maya and I will show you all the options available. By the way, if you want to check the progress of this little guy I'm showing quite often in 3D Cryptic videos, be sure to check my social media and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Before the proper symmetry, which you can find here, was introduced to Maya, we used to use a mirrored or scaled instance and it's still valid sometimes, so how would you do that? Just select your object, go to Edit, Duplicate Special with the option box, switch it to Instance, and in this case, scale it by minus one. So what we get is two identical half of the model, and what we edit on one side will be propagated to the other side. Very simple, very easy to use. However, it's two separate meshes and the disadvantage of that is if we touch the middle edge like this, they would split up. And that's a, quite a big disadvantage. You always have to take care about and reset the middle edge. So this approach is still used. However, right now I'm more often using mirror option. To mirror your mesh, just select it and shift right click and choose a mirror over here we have a bunch of options of this operation which are the same as here right now nothing is happening until we turn off the cut and you see that our mirror axis is right now in the world we can offset it if we want which is this number over here but in this case we don't want any, we want to mirror it over an x-axis. Our merge border option is turned on, so that means that the vertices in the middle will be merged based on the threshold in here. So right now we have a mirrored object. The benefit of the mirror operation, if I undo that, is that it has options for not just mirroring based on the world axis, because if I do it based on the world, the axis is still in the origin, even though our object is over here. So I can switch it to object and it will work as we expect right now. And it even can work when we freeze the transforms. If I freeze the transform and reset the transform, so our pivot is in the origin and do the mirror again axis based on the world and the object will be the same because our pivot is in the origin but if we choose the bounding box it will again snap in place because our mesh has that middle edge right on the edge of the bounding box the mirror will allow us to create symmetrical mesh in various occasions so let's start with just a single simple mirrored mesh and I will show you the different types of a symmetry manipulation. Once again, as I mentioned in previous 3D Quickty videos, which you can check out over here, there are a few places when you can turn on your symmetry. It's either in this menu over here, it's in the modeling toolkit over here, or when I double click the translate tool, it's over here. And for sure, it's in the marking menu when I, for example, hold W, last mouse button and go up. You see all the same options in here, in the marking menu and over here. So let me close this and we will use just the marking menu. We will start with the topology symmetry. Let's switch to the edge component and go to the marking menu go to symmetry and choose topology. Maya will ask you to select the edge which defines the symmetry, which in our case is this one, and your pre-highlight selection will turn blue. That means that symmetry is working. So right now, whatever you select, either polygons, vertices or edges, everything is gonna be symmetrical even with a soft selection, with everything, and it maintains the middle edge in the place as it should be. Also, most of the operations you perform on the mesh will be propagated to the other side. So let's say I select this one and bevel the edges, it will happen on both sides. 
there are few limitations about that and I found them a bit annoying sometimes as I was used to use these functions. For example, when you want to split the edge ring with the control or command and right click menu, go to the edge ring and edge ring and split that will actually work just on one side and it will break your symmetry. Uh, that's because you actually have two edges selected right now as you can see and the edge ring can perform that just on one edge and I was used to use that command all the time for modeling and now I have to use either multicut tool which works in the symmetry so if I just go here and hold control and middle click it will split that edge ring and it works on both sides or I can use the connect tool which will do the similar thing so that's kind of a limitation that certain commands in Maya won't work with the topological symmetry or with any symmetry to be honest and the other limitation of topological symmetry is what I can demonstrate or show you on let's say the thief even though that mesh is 100% symmetrical the topology symmetry won't work because it will still ask you for the middle edge and there is no middle edge in here topological symmetry actually works just on a single shell polygon shell or a polygon island so I can try to pick this one as a symmetry axis and you see it was still picked as a symmetry because this object is basically made from a cube so it has symmetrical vertices so I can still work with these but just on one polygon shell if I want the symmetry to be working on this one I can once again choose the topology select this edge and it works here again so topological symmetry doesn't work on more than one polygon shell if you want to work with objects like this in a symmetrical fashion you have to choose a different option for symmetry instead of topological in this case we can use world because our mesh is symmetrical inside of the world so right now I have a world symmetry turned on and that means that if I select the vertices over here they are selected on both sides that means the world symmetry because our symmetry axis exactly copies the zero axis however if I move that object over here with the world symmetry turned on that stops working because once again our symmetry axis is here so what I need to choose is instead object symmetry which places the symmetry axis in the middle of our object which is the one we actually want and once again we can work with the symmetry the object symmetry will also work even if the object is rotated in like this fashion it will still work because that axis is also aligned in here once you freeze the transform you will lose that object axis so if I freeze it and still keep it in an object it stops working because our axis is right now going like this and there is no way in this case to work with the symmetry because we lost all the information which we needed for any symmetry so you have to keep in mind that your object has to be either aligned to the world or to have the transform still active or have the topology exactly symmetrical of course we can choose a different axis not just an x-axis but that's quite self-explanatory and that's it that was fairly quick video showing the symmetry options in Maya if you like the video subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media and see you next time